Picture this, a tranquil evening, stars dotting the canvas of the night sky, and a sense of awe stirring within you. Have you ever looked up and felt the universe's whispers beckoning you to explore its mysteries? It's like a secret conversation with the cosmos, a yearning to break free from the bounds of Earth. Well, guess what? That yearning is closer to reality than you might think. Enter CubeSats, tiny satellites that are turning space exploration into a community project. No longer is the cosmos reserved for the elite few. It's becoming a playground for everyone. Imagine a Rubik's Cube, but instead of solving it on your coffee table, it's floating in space and sending back data. Pretty mind-blowing, right? Now, let's take a trip down memory lane to the late 90s. Forget about Y2K fears, we're meeting the real heroes of the era. Professors Jordi Puig Suari and Bob Twiggs. These academic pioneers first proposed CubeSats as a way for students to get hand-on experience in satellite. Imagine being in a college lab, not dissecting frogs, but assembling your very own satellite. That's a classroom I'd never want to leave. But what makes CubeSats so special? Well, they're small, really small. We're talking about a 10 centimeter cube that weighs less than a gallon of milk, just 1.33 kilograms. But don't underestimate them. These tiny satellites are packed with sensors, cameras, and even propulsion system. It's like fitting an entire space mission into your backpack. And here's something to knock your socks off. As of mid-2018, there were over 2,100 CubeSats orbiting Earth. To put that into perspective, that's more CubeSats than there are episodes of The Simpsons. So we've marveled at these small but mighty CubeSats. Now, let's dive into their role in democratizing space itself. First up, let's talk dollars and cents. You might think space is a billionaire's playground. But hold on to your wallets. CubeSats are changing the game. For as low as 50,000 US dollars, you can actually own a piece of this cosmic pie. That's less than the price of many luxury cars. And the best part? You can shop for CubeSats online, just like you'd shop for a new pair of sneakers. It's like the universe has its own Black Friday sale, and everyone is invited. But the democratization of space isn't just a financial revolution. It's a social one, too. CubeSats are the great equalizers, making space accessible to high school students, university researchers, and even small countries that previously couldn't dream of space exploration. Imagine a world where your science fair project could actually orbit Earth. That's not science fiction, it's happening right now. And let's not forget the global impact. CubeSats are a worldwide phenomena, with over 40 institutes from different countries participating. It's like the space version of the Olympics, where every country can have a shot at gold, or in this case, the stars. This international collaboration is breaking down barriers and creating a global community of space enthusiasts. So what makes CubeSats the ultimate game changer? Think of them as the open source software of the cosmos. They're not just accessible, they're a platform for innovation, collaboration, and revolutionizing how we interact with space. Okay, time to dive into how these things work. Firstly, let's talk about the modular magic. CubeSats are designed to be modular, meaning you can customize them to your heart's content. Think of it like building your dream house, but in miniature form. You can add solar panels for energy, specialized sensors for data collection, and even tiny cameras for capturing breathtaking views of Earth. It's like playing with the most advanced LEGO set ever created. Moving on to propulsion. How do these little guys move around in the vastness of space? Well, they've got options. From cold gas thrusters that expel bursts of compressed gas to innovative solar sails that harness the power of the sun, CubeSats are incredibly versatile. It's like having a car that can switch between gas, electric, and solar power on the fly. But what are they actually doing up there? CubeSats have a wide range of applications that would make even the most seasoned astronaut jealous. They're monitoring climate change, testing new space technologies, and even helping with disaster relief. Imagine a multitasking genius that can write a thesis, cook dinner, and solve a Rubik's Cube all at the same time. That's a CubeSat for you. And let's not forget about communication. These CubeSats are equipped with antennas that allow them to send and receive data from Earth. It's like they're constantly tweeting updates and selfies from space, keeping us in the loop about their cosmic adventures. Before you start sketching out plans for your own space mission, let's hit the pause button and delve into some crucial regulatory and ethical concerns. First, let's talk bureaucracy. If you're in the United States, you'll need to navigate a maze of regulations, including securing a communication license from the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, 
It's like getting a driver's license, but for operating a satellite. And don't forget the safety checks, often conducted by NASA. But remember, these are U.S.-specific. Different countries will have their own sets of rules and agencies, making it a truly international affair. It's like each country has its own rule book for the cosmic playground. How did these CubeSats actually get into space, anyway? Well, they usually hitch a ride on larger missions as a secondary payload. Imagine carpooling, but instead of sharing a ride to work, you're sharing a rocket to space. This makes the launch process more affordable and accessible, further democratizing space exploration. Moving on to ethics, as CubeSats proliferate, we must consider the issue of space debris. The last thing we want is for Earth to be surrounded by a cloud of cosmic junk. Responsible disposal methods, like planned deorbiting, are essential. Think of it as cosmic recycling. We need to keep our orbital neighborhood clean. Data privacy is another hot topic. CubeSats are data-gathering powerhouses. But who owns this information? How is it used or shared? It's like the social media privacy debate, but with galactic implications. And let's not forget international cooperation. With CubeSats becoming a global phenomenon, it's crucial to establish universal guidelines. It's akin to creating international laws for a new kind of global highway, one that reaches into the stars. So we've navigated the ins and outs of CubeSats, but what does the future hold for these tiny cosmic adventures? Well, get ready, because the future is looking brighter than a supernova. First off, let's talk about the next generation of CubeSats. Imagine CubeSats that could repair themselves, or even build other CubeSats while in orbit. It's like the concept of self-replicating robots in space. The possibilities are endless, from mining asteroids to constructing space habitats. Now, what about CubeSats and climate change? These small satellites are already monitoring Earth's atmosphere, oceans, and even deforestation. They're like the environmental watchdogs of the space world, providing invaluable data that could help us combat climate change. And let's not forget about the potential for deep space exploration. CubeSats are no longer just Earth-orbiting devices. They're setting their sights on other planets and even asteroids. Imagine a CubeSat landing on Mars or exploring the rings of Saturn. It's like having a team of cosmic explorers that can go where no human has gone before. But with great potential comes great responsibility. As CubeSats become more advanced, ethical consideration like space colonization and resource exploitation come into play. It's like opening a new chapter in the ethical playbook, one that extends beyond our home planet. Now, let's zoom in on something incredibly exciting, the role of CubeSats in pushing the boundaries of scientific discovery. First up, let's talk about CubeSats as the new cosmic laboratories. These tiny satellites are equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and instruments that can conduct experiments in space. Imagine a floating lab that can test new materials, study cosmic rays, and even explore the mysteries of dark matter. It's like having a portable science lab that can go anywhere in the universe. But wait, there's more. CubeSats are also playing a crucial role in astronomy. With their compact size and specialized instruments, they can capture images and data that even larger telescopes might miss. Think of them as the paparazzi of the cosmos, always ready to snap a photo of a new celestial event. And let's not overlook their role in Earth's sciences. CubeSats are helping us understand our own planet better. From monitoring natural disasters to studying weather patterns, it's like having a team of meteorologists and geologists working tirelessly from space. Now, you might be wondering, what's the catch? Well, the challenge lies in data interpretation and collaboration. As CubeSats collect massive amounts of data, scientists from around the world need to work together to make sense of it all. It's like piecing together a cosmic jigsaw puzzle where each piece holds a clue to unlocking the secrets of the universe. So, in a nutshell, CubeSats are like the Sherlock Holmes of space, always on the hunt for clues, solving mysteries, and making groundbreaking discoveries that could redefine our understanding of science and the universe. Now let's talk about something truly heartwarming, the way CubeSats are inspiring the next generation of dreamers and doers. First off, let's talk about education. CubeSats are making their way into classrooms, from high schools to universities. Imagine being a teenager and building a satellite as your school project. It's like turning your science fair into a NASA mission. CubeSats are not just teaching kids about space, they're giving them hands-on experience in engineering, programming, and data analysis. But the inspiration doesn't stop at the classroom door. CubeSats are also engaging the public in citizen science projects. Ever wanted to be a part of a space mission? Well, now you can. Various organizations are allowing ordinary people to propose experiments, analyze data, and even control CubeSats. 
It's like crowdsourcing for space exploration. And let's not forget the role of CubeSats in inspiring future careers. With the growing commercial space industry, the demand for skilled engineers and scientists is skyrocketing. CubeSats serve as a stepping stone, providing real-world experience that can lead to job opportunities in aerospace companies, research institutions, and even government agencies. So what's the big takeaway? CubeSats are like the spark that ignites a lifelong passion for science and exploration. They're not just tools for research, they're catalysts for inspiration, fueling the dreams of the next Neil Armstrong, Sally Ride, or Elon Musk. We've sung the praises of CubeSats, but let's not put our rose-colored glasses on just yet. Every superhero has a weakness, and CubeSats are no exception. So what are the challenges and limitations facing these tiny titans of space? First up, let's talk about lifespan. CubeSats are not built to last forever. With an average operational life of about one to three years, they're like the mayflies of the space world. Brilliant, but fleeting. These short lifespans pose challenges for long-term missions and data collection. Next, we have the issue of limited capabilities. While CubeSats are incredibly versatile, their small size means they can't carry the heavy, advanced equipment that larger satellites can. It's like trying to pack for a month-long vacation with just a carry-on. You have to make some tough choices. And let's not forget about communication challenges. The smaller the satellite, the weaker the signal. This means CubeSats often require ground stations to relay their data back to Earth. Imagine trying to shout across a crowded stadium. You'd probably need a huge megaphone to be heard. Lastly, there's the issue of space traffic. As more and more CubeSats are launched, the risk of collisions increases. It's like adding new cars to an already congested highway. Things can get a bit chaotic. Summing it up, CubeSats are like the underdogs of the space world. Small, scrappy, and full of potential, but not without their challenges and limitations. From their humble beginnings as educational tools, to their role in democratizing space, advancing science, and even inspiring the next generation of space enthusiasts, CubeSats are truly the unsung heroes of the cosmos. But remember, this is just the beginning. As technology advances and our understanding deepens, who knows what new frontiers these tiny marvels will conquer next. So whether you're a scientist, a student, or just someone who loves to gaze at the stars, there's a place for you in this CubeSat revolution. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out the next video on your screen now for another exciting journey through the cosmos.